I'm Erin Kyle. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the AORN Guidelines for Perioperative Practice. The updated guideline for care of the patient receiving moderate sedation provides guidance on determining the scope of nursing practice related to administration of moderate sedation, patient selection criteria and evaluation before sedation, for example, the airway, intraoperative monitoring, staffing, medication administration, and discharge criteria. According to the author, Amber Wood, the primary goal of moderate sedation is to reduce the patient's anxiety and discomfort so that they can tolerate the procedure that they need. There are patient safety concerns related to administering sedation in non-operating room locations, including interventional cardiology and office-based surgery settings. Because procedures continue to expand and patient acuity is increasing, this requires more monitoring and deeper sedation. As such, this setting should have the same standard of care for, as the OR patients receiving moderate sedation. This includes monitoring and equipment. Studies indicate that non-operating room settings have more challenges related to the equipment, number of qualified personnel, and space needed to respond to emergencies that could occur during moderate sedation. New evidence is included in this update on the effects of cannabis and opioid use on moderate sedation. New recommendations for additional assessment of pediatric and older adult patients receiving moderate sedation were also included in this update. The term continual replaced the term continuous when discussing patient monitoring. Patients should be continually monitored and observed during the procedure which can help identify complications early. Continual is defined as repeatedly, regularly, and frequently in steady rapid succession. This is different from continuous, which the American Society of Anesthesiologists defines as prolonged without any interruptions at any time. Perioperative nurses administering moderate sedation may perform short, interruptible tasks to assist the perioperative team assuming these tasks do not compromise continual monitoring while also remaining in the OR. Because propofol has a narrow therapeutic window and there is, potential, there is potential for respiratory and cardiopulmonary complications requiring early identification and treatment, perioperative nurses administering propofol for moderate sedation should be fully dedicated to patient monitoring and should not perform any other tasks to assist the perioperative team. Finally, in this guideline update, there's a focus on patient preference. Patient preference should be prioritized when planning with the patient before the procedure, before developing and implementing the sedation plan.